Where does genius come from?、Hmm. One theory is that genius is born. Think of Mozart playing the violin at age three. Another theory is that genius is made through hard work, ten thousand hours at least. Think of Thomas Edison sweating over his many inventions. But what if both these theories are wrong? What if genius is grown? Scan the globe and you see that geniuses don't appear randomly. They appear in clumps, genius clusters. What is in the water in these places, and how can you bottle it? How can you create your own genius cluster? I traveled around the world and back in time in order to answer those very questions. Think of genius as a recipe. You need certain ingredients, like mentors. Florence, 1490. One day, Lorenzo Medici, the most powerful man in town, spots a talented young stonecutter and decides to back him. It was a wise investment. Today, that kid is better known as Michelangelo. Another ingredient is freshness. Vienna, 1900. The city is flooded with immigrants, brimming with new ideas. One is a young doctor named Sigmund Freud. Sitting in his favorite coffee shop, Freud sees innovation in art, in literature, and thinks, "Why not in my field too?" Genius is contagious. A third ingredient is chaos. It shakes us out of old ways of thinking. Chaos on a large scale, a crowded city street. And chaos on a smaller scale too. Einstein's messy desk. <clears throat> Another ingredient is discernment, separating good ideas from bad ones. Silicon Valley excels at this. That's why it is today's genius cluster. Not because of hard work or natural talent, but because it got the recipe right. You can too, but the first step is to recognize that genius is not only a what or a how. But aware. These are a few of the lessons I learned by traveling to seven genius clusters, past and present. You can join the journey and read an excerpt from *The Geography of Genius* at ericweinerbooks.com.